Here is another skin. You could probably recognize it instantly. Squamous mucosa, a little bit of keratin on top. Uh, funny thing is there appears to be a lot of inflammation and ulceration of this skin. In addition, the deeper tissues do not look like normal dermis and they do not look like normal fat. They look like a lot of irregular, stellate, uh, vascular spaces uh, lined uh, or surrounded by smooth muscle type of tissue. This is classical erectile tissue. This is a corpus cavernosum or perhaps spongiosum and therefore that makes this not only skin but it makes it skin of penis again. So let's look at the actual skin and find out why is there inflammation. Well you could see that along the non uh, ulcerated surface there is still inflammation but there is good maturation from the basal layer to the superficial layer and you can see a little tissue wrinkling here as well but at the edge of the ulcer you could then start to see these little infiltrating squamous epithelial nests even at this stage uh, you know this has to be infiltrating squamous cell carcinoma here's an area in which there is some intact epithelium but there is still a lot of these infiltrating squamous nests. If the squamous nests form pearls, like you see here and here, looking like little pearls, you can say what they call squamous pearls, that this is a well-differentiated squamous cell carcinoma. If you don't see pearls, but you look closely between the cells and you see the little intercellular bridges only, you can say that this is moderately well. And I think we're going to find some really terrific intercellular bridges because if you look right along here, you saw, see a lot of little tiny uh, strings going between the cells. Here's some more intercellular bridges, which I could see. Here's some more. But if that was the only thing you saw and not these pearls, you'd call it moderately. And if the squamous cells were differentiated so poorly, you could hardly recognize them as squamous cells. Then you could call it poor. Notice we have all the other features of malignancy. We have big cells. We have multiple nucleoli. We have increased mitosis. We have an abnormal mitosis here. We probably have uh, all the other features of um, squamous cell carcinoma. Notice how this red stuff within the squamous cells may actually be keratin that the tumor is making, but because it's keratin that's made by uh, cancer cells rather than normal cells, this process is often called dyskeratosis. Also notice all throughout here and here and here and here very beautifully are these intercellular bridges. Does this squamous cell carcinoma extend to the deepest part of the biopsy? No, it seems to generally stop along here. So you can tell the surgeon that his deep margins are clear. Another thing you could say, at least from here, is that it doesn't look like it extends to any of the peripheral margins either. Infiltrating squamous cell carcinoma of the penis.